And let's talk about the next 40 years of golf. Hell yeah. We had no idea this dude existed, and that was 100% on us. Mm -hmm. Then we seen him win the Bahama Super Extravaganza Corn Ferry Tour Championship. Yep. Bingo. Then we learned his story. This dude graduated high school whenever he was 17, two, two and a half years, became a pro, focused on golf and golf only. Now he's 19 years old, already winning Corn Ferry Tour majors. Uh-huh. Yeah. And he's going to be the future of golf. Ladies and gentlemen, absolute superstar stud who we are lucky to chat with. Callaway golf guy. Ooh. Just like me. Smart. Akshay Bhatia. Yeah! Akshay! What's up, dude? What's up, guys? Hey, you're the man, huh? Hey, you are the man. We just learned about you. You are awesome. I'm trying to be like you, man. No, 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 Akshay. That hey, you're way 19 years old. I was trying to get loans out <laughs> so I could go have a good time at the bar. How did you know? Uh, have you just golfed your entire life? You had a great skill. So you're like you and your family, I assume, sat down. We're going to graduate high school in two and a half years, and then we're getting right to the golf. What are we even doing college for? Let's get right to professional golf. Was that a decision that was made early in your life? How did you get to the point where you turned pro when you were 17? Yeah, I... Uh... I grew up in L.A., played a little bit of golf. My sister played and then moved to North Carolina. And that's when I started to really develop a love and a passion for the game. And I just got better and better. And I think I was 14, 13. I went into my dad's room when I was at midnight, something like that. And my dad always tells this story. But I went into my his room and I said, Dad. And he was like, what are you doing up? I said, how do I become the best player in the world? That's what I wanted to do. That was my passion. And he's like, you practice harder than everyone. You're there, last one to leave the range. You will become the best player in the world. So that's what I did for, I don't know, years. Uh, or, sorry, the next four or five years. And I don't know. I just I knew what I wanted to do. My parents supported me. And now here I am winning on the Corn Ferry Tour. It was amazing. Yeah. So it's all worked out and it's really really cool and i'm happy to be able to inspire junior golfers and even guys older than me guys and girls well congratulations on being able to commit to something and stick with it right that's a talent in of itself i assume that you recognize that in yourself and your dad did as well whenever you came in at midnight as a teenager like, you know what i want to be the best golfer in the world i assume your dad was like holy shit we got a guy we got <laughs> we got somebody that wants to put in the work here and do the whole thing what came naturally to you in your game and what do you think you had to work on you because you you seem we don't know you that well you seem tall and lanky but you have an incredibly smooth uh swing have you always had power what do you think you have to work on most in your game and what has come naturally yeah i uh i don't know i just i love practicing so i practice i putted more than anyone in junior golf and i practice my short game a lot i loved it i would be out there for two three hours everyone would be on the range or people would be coming up on 18 and still see me putting and that's i felt like i had an edge uh early on like i love to do it i was I feel like I was a little smarter than everyone on how to practice, what to practice, and I just developed over time. Uh, I am skinny, I'm lanky, but I create a lot of power uh, just because I I rotate so well, which, I mean, it's pretty similar to in football that you need to have power and you need to know how the body works to create as much power and as much force as you can. So. I just developed that at an early age and being small um, is a part of that. And once I put on, you know, size and weight, I think I can, you know, I'll definitely gain speed and, and be able to hit it a lot further. But it's just, it's taken a lot of time, which is really tough because... A lot of time, you're fucking 19, dude. Relax. <laughs> Jeez, yeah. I, I mean, relax, yeah. dude. 170, 180, and I'm over here at 130 pounds. Like, it is hard because longevity is a big thing in golf and also having a lot of uh have a lot of energy for three straight weeks is is not easy when i have nothing to burn off of so uh, hey so are you gonna get on the bryson dechambeau just start housing like nine protein bars a day <laughs> I've, I've tried it it is so hard <laughs> i i feel sick so i just i'll just stick to eating chick-fil-a and pizza and whatever 19 year olds <sighs> 
Oh. Yeah, and probably some Natty Light in there as well. <laughs> no, I, I know, I'm joking. Uh, do you feel like you, you've missed out on anything because you're, you've are you been so focused on golf? And I assume you have seen a lot of your high school friends go on and go get a chance to do other things and experience life a little bit differently. But now you're flying around tournament to tournament uh, with your girlfriend winning stuff and you're a big star. But I assume there was moments where you kind of missed out on some stuff when you were growing up through this entire process. Yeah, I mean, I definitely miss out on certain things, but I think from an outside perspective, it's pretty cool to be a successful athlete as a teenager. And not a lot of people can say that, um, if any, you know, in golf, other than Jordan Spieth or, or Matt Wolf, any of those guys obviously have had success early. But I don't, I mean, I'm enjoying life. I get to go to the Bahamas. I've gone to <laughs> Saudi Arabia. I've gone to Paris. I mean, you can't do that. <laughs> desk uh, in school. So. Hey, you are awesome. Hey, you're For an sure. awesome. You got an awesome mindset. Where do you think the maturity came from? Your dad, your family. Where, where do you think it? Uh, did have you always been just like wise beyond your years? You feel like? I think golf's been a big part of it. I mean, golf's been, you know, 80, 90 percent of my life, and playing this golf with older people, it really teaches you and makes you understand what being humble is and being you know kind to other people because you never know who you're going to meet in the golf world i've met so many great people successful people and you know successful golfers as well that you just learn to be more mature and i think that's what this game provides me a lot of people are saying they met you, dude, now, so that's pretty, you know what I mean? All those successful people are like, oh, I played with him when he, I, <laughs> yeah. he must have been, when was it? It was two years, he must have been 17. Oh, he was 17? Damn good. It was unbelievable. Uh, I can't wait to see your entire legacy get built. Let's talk about you shooting your shot on Instagram for a caddy. Was that a, uh, was that a game? Was that you actually needed a caddy? Because I saw <laughs> that you actually won a tournament carrying your own bag, which is awesome, blue collar. Yeah, so it's... She was so pumped for me, for us to be on your podcast for stuff. She's a big fan of yours. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. So she wasn't mad about what we did. Okay, good. Let's go. Oh, yeah. All right, hey, yeah, we're big fans of you guys, too. We love love. We love, 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 love. She was so excited. I, I'm at the golf course now, but she was like, she wanted to say hi to you so bad. Um, hey, how's it going? Good luck out there. We, we don't think you should be caddying, but <laughs> hey, we, we absolutely, we love it so, out there. When I first met her, she didn't know anything about golf. And this was back last year at Valero Texas Open. It was one of my, like my fourth or fifth start on tour last year. She had nothing, no idea about golf. So I DM her, she's super pretty. And like, I wanted to get to know her. So, and she lived in Texas at the time. So she comes, she's like, what? She didn't know anything that was happening. I'm 19 years old and there's 40 year olds playing golf. And I'm in this atmosphere of, grandstands and people and she's like just out there and the first event she was wearing heels walking out there like a like a stud and um it's just funny because that's really turned into a cool story we can share now where she caddies in my first corn fairy event as a member and we win so it's just it's unbelievable it's such a cool story and something we're gonna remember forever yeah and by the way we love love over here and we're by the way <laughs> You guys found love in a in a hope not hope a hopeful place. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, golf yeah. a lot of hope at golf tournaments. That whole thing. That's that's a beautiful thing. What is the future there? Is she is she going to remain your caddy? And uh, how does that work if you potentially fuck up at home, you know, or anything <laughs> yeah. like that? Now uh, it was a one and one and done. Well, she's going to caddy uh, not my next event, but the week after. But my best friend, he caddies for me. Oh, okay. He, uh, we grew up together in North Carolina, so he's he's 22, and we have such a good time, and it's fun to travel with him. And she'll caddy occasionally, I think, you know. But she'll uh, she'll just come support me, have fun. Uh, she takes a lot of pictures. She loves the social media stuff, and especially everything that's happened with her after winning. She's she's gotten a lot of publicity, so. Uh, uh she, she deserves it, as do you, man. And hopefully you'll win in two weeks with her. You know, you go undefeated with the girl is, is an <laughs> yeah. unbelievable. Oh, I'm going to have to tell my best friend that she's full time. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's awesome. Uh, a couple of the boys have some questions for you, if that's cool, Akshay. 
Yeah. Go ahead, Ty. Actually, I think it was the U.S. Open that you played in either last year or a couple of years ago. And obviously, once you start having success on the Corn Ferry Tour and, you know, you win, like, have you looked ahead at any of the majors and seen, like, which one of the courses might uh, benefit your game the most? Like, is that something you'll do at this point or are you still just, you know, you got a, a tournament this weekend ahead of you that you have to go win? Yeah. So I have I have one goal, two goals, obviously to get my tour card uh, this year. But I'm either I would love to do it winning three times on this. If you win three times on the Corn Ferry Tour, you get an automatic promotion to the PGA Tour. So that's one of my goals. The other goal is to finish number one on the top 25, and that would secure a full season on the PGA Tour. You get into the U.S. Open the year after in 2023. You get into the Players Championship, which is one of the biggest events. They call it the fifth major. So those are my goals. I don't really look too far forward into the future, um, but my goal is just to try and play as well as I can and get out on tour as quick as I can because it's definitely been a long two years to oh, get to yeah. this point, and man, it's freaking sick to to have the opportunity to, to get on tour by 20 years old. Hey. Try to get you one of these. You know what I mean? <laughs> Try to get you one of these out there in the golf world. Um, how did we? I used to watch Big Break. I think yeah. is what yeah. it was called. Oh, yeah, the yeah. golf. You get you go to Q school and get your Q card and all that. Is that just a different way to get in there? And can you not just get an exemption in one of those tournaments and win it and then you're in it forever? Is there? So, there's a bunch of ways to get on tour. You can get an exemption, win, and then you have two years of. Full status on the PGA Tour. Let's do it. And that. then you have Q School, which uh, a lot of players go through, which gets you onto the Corn Ferry Tour. And they used to have it where Q School was to get straight to the PGA Tour, but they stopped doing that. Uh, so those those are basically the ways to get on tours. Q School to Corn Ferry, Corn Ferry to PGA, win on the PGA Tour, or you can gain enough points on the PGA Tour with sponsor exemptions to earn enough points to have a season of uh tournaments next year on the pga tour how much do we have to sponsor you to get you just <laughs> into the thing to get the enough points to get you into the pga thing and not not just me so my last the last two years i've gotten you get seven sponsor exemptions into whatever events that they want you to get it or they want to have you you get seven starts so i've gotten I've been very fortunate to get 14 starts in the last two years, which not a lot of players get. Yeah, well. And last year I had a really good chance of earning my card really fast. I finished top 10 in my first event of the season last year. So I was in a really good spot to get my tour card, but I still had so much to learn. I put myself in, I was leading at Pebble Beach. I was leading in Mexico. So I was doing a bunch of really good things. I just, still is figuring out a lot of things and uh i've had plenty of opportunities to do it but i guess it's not my time yet and having having a win now it helps a lot um you know mentally mentally the win being able to close being able to close it is a big thing you've you've had to get over how you think or you feel like those moments are something you could have grown from yeah i've just i've learned to i've learned to deal with certain situations a little better now and the, for the week I won, I was so confident. I knew it was my time to win. I knew everything was going my way. And I just, I was super clutch under the high, you know, one of the biggest moments of my golf career. This is, I only had four starts to get status on Corn Ferry because um, of what uh, status I had going into the, the season. And winning takes care of that. And, Closer to your tour car. There's so much on the line, but I hey, was just, let's go, dude. Yeah! Hey, way to get. I was to- so pumped. I was, I was like, I'm gonna show these guys that I can do this. I had the self belief, and a lot of people have doubted me, wanted me to go to college, says I wasn't ready, and I don't really look at that. But yeah, I know people now are on my side, which is it's cool. I mean. It's sick to think, 19 years old, I have 110,000 followers on Instagram. Woo! Oh, yeah. Come on now. Woo! I was most excited about that. <laughs> hey, but that brings money as well. So you're a good businessman, it seems like. So uh, you should be pumped about that. Same with your girlfriend, who I assume you guys are going to have. I love what you guys... You are, 
I mean, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to try to emulate you and they won't be able to because they're not going to be the same people that are putting all the way throughout the entire day and night. I mean, it's a different level there. You should be proud of yourself, man. Although you've been waiting a long time to get here. Uh-huh. You know, anytime you say that, all the uh, like the 38-year-olds and 45-year-olds yeah. that are on the corn fair tour just can't do it. And it's uh, your Akshay say he's been waiting two years. <laughs> your Akshay saying that. It's awesome, dude. You're, you're inspiring it's, as hell. It's funny the week after we won, we saw four wives slash girlfriends caddying. Yeah, ah. yeah, this will work. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This, will, this is why. This is the only reason. Go ahead, Tone. Uh, Akshay, since you are so young and you've played a lot of events on the tour, you're a Callaway guy. Is there another lefty Callaway guy that is taking you under his wing or any other uh, vets on the tour that have? Yeah, Phil's been a big influence on me. He's he's become a really good friend, and I'm fortunate to, to be able – to be in his life and him to be in my life, it's freaking sick. I mean, <laughs> won, I don't know, 50, 60 times on tour, won a major last year at 52 years old. Is that a big deal? And he's just, he's brilliant. He's so smart. And a lot of people don't realize that from a, being left-handed, it's, it's different the way you see golf courses. So anytime I get to yep. play with him, I see how he's playing the golf course. And it's very similar to me because we're both left-handed and we – both kind of play the game similar we're pretty aggressive and um so it's it's been it's been so cool and i'm super grateful and thankful to to be able to to be a part of his you know life hell yeah he taught me how to flop earlier in the year i'm fucking scratched now so i couldn't imagine getting golf with him on the entire course is this the uh is this the driver you use the rogue st dude is the the rogue do you just get it yeah, yeah. This is uh, this is the mm-hmm. rogue ass. This is a lefty too, and yeah. I'm not a lefty. But whenever I <laughs> when this thing just sat in my hands, I thought to myself, "Oh, I'm Akshay. That's right. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm Phil Mickelson. You know, maybe I need to get my wife on the bag. Yeah. Maybe yeah. I've heard drive the cart. Maybe I'll start winning the Bahamas tournaments because that's all it takes. By the way, just put mm-hmm. the wife on the bag. Hell yeah. And you're just yeah. off and running. Just make sure she's carrying the cooler and you'll be good. Yeah, man. bingo. Hey, and the lighter. Go ahead, Connor. <laughs> yeah, Akshay, uh, Pat was just talking about it, but like, is there ever a time where these 40-year-olds are like, this son of a bitch, Akshay's going to do it again and he's only 19 <laughs> years old? Or uh, are they kind of supportive of you and no. understand how like unbelievable it is that you're Those, 19 and crushing it? Guys are super chill, and uh, I couldn't tell you how many people congratulated me after I won. So everyone's really nice. But yesterday we're waiting in the airport and we're waiting for my bags. And I'm just kind of like, I'm just kind of moving, like feeling the golf swing. And Presley, my girlfriend, she's waiting next to some players. And they're like, this is why this kid's going to win so many times. It's because this guy's practicing in the airport. So <laughs> I think a lot of guys, a lot of guys are super nice to me. And, um, you know, they know my story is different and they support it and they think it's really cool. And, they keep me in a different perspective if I'm not playing well. Uh, it's cool, though. It's yeah, really well, cool. your story's cool, man. And we can't wait to see what the cool future looks like. Feels like you're going to be on tour here by 2022, I believe, oh, or yeah. 2023. Uh, so we're excited to be fans of yours. Thank you for stopping by. Good luck with the rest of your day. I assume you're going to work on the course right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I uh, I finally have some time to do it. But what are we working on? I don't know. We'll see what my coach says. <laughs> nice. Oh, really? You, so you're a full-time coach? Always been your coach? How long has he been around? He or she, sorry. So I've had a few call, golf coaches, but we've been working together for five or six years. But the last two, three years, it's been just me and him. And he's like my second dad. He is He's amazing. He, he can communicate with me like no one other. And I, I really believe that him and I together he's been a big influence on the success I've had the last two three years he won't admit it because he'll tell me I'm the one hitting the golf ball but he's really had a big big influence on me and he uh he's a man so hey how come he, how come he doesn't caddy how come people's golf coaches don't caddy for them he's okay well he's five five and he's whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Oh, 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 yeah. hates small people. Wow. Oxy <laughs> hates short people. Whoa. Oh, Oxy <laughs> saying five five, too small to carry a bag. Whoa. I make fun of him all the time, but he, he's <laughs> like he's short and he's he doesn't weigh much, but he hates caddying. Like he despite he does not like being on the bag and um I don't know. It's just he's caddied a few times, but 
it's hard for him because he has a family and he just he's never really even home he's teaching from 8 a.m to 7 p.m so he'll he'll come out to a few events and um i assume but, that hey i assume that 11 hour uh lesson in class day is going to change here probably 2023 i think if i yeah, heard yep 2020 <laughs> I, I think from what uh, from the schedule that i heard but it sounds like he loves it uh we appreciate you man so much for stopping by thank you yeah i'm i was pumped to be on this podcast y'all are y'all are the best and i've listened to a lot of them so it was cool to shout y'all shout me and presley out uh last week well, let's let's continue to do that. Yeah. Okay, Let, let's continue to uh, you know watch you win in these big Hell moments. Yeah. Win the Masters, you know, yeah. Yeah, win the Masters, <laughs> oh, dude. Win the Masters, that'll be awesome. And then the Players Championship, yeah. I mean, yeah. you go ahead and win that one. Go out to Phoenix. Oh, the Phoenix. Oh, Waste Scott's man. There. Scott's there. Oh my God, you're going to be beloved out there. I know. I'm. I'm thinking if I get into that event, Presley's going to carry the bag there. <laughs> Smart. I mean, that would yeah. be electrifying. And then, how about whenever you get into the Ryder Cup and just, oh, oh we got the guy again. USA. Hey, hate to break it to you, we had the guy for a long time. We got the guy again. Yes. Oh my God, it's awesome. We appreciate you. All. Hey, Charlie Woods and Lil John Daly, though. You know, they're out Look there out. knocking. That ne How about this generation of your age golfers? Do you know a lot of them? Or you're going a different route so you don't get to experience that as much? I I know some of them, but not not as much as I used to. I know little John. I played golf with him a few times. He's a good kid, really good player. And then I've never met Charlie, but I know he's going to be a great player, obviously, having <laughs> Tiger's dad. It's pretty hard not to uh, – not to – know what to do <laughs> but yeah, yeah I, don't, I mean i know a few guys but i don't really pay attention anymore yeah it's just your world hey folks on your world put those you know blinders on we can't wait to see where you head to we thank you so much good luck at practice today ladies and gentlemen future pga champion akshay Bhatia. Yeah! Cool guy. Yeah. yeah. Legend. I'm, I'm, I am happy that he's much more mature than us, and he oh, and yeah. Presley have already had the conversation. Yeah. Like, yeah. All right. Hey, like, hey. It was fun. It was fun. It was fun. We'll get you another one, but also, like, hey, you're, Presley's going to have to be the escape for him at some point. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Away from it all. Mm -hmm. And golf is going to be the same thing. I'm excited. What a cool dude. Yeah. yeah. That's why golfers right. need jerseys so you can buy one because, I mean, Akshay is now my guy going forward. <laughs> Me too. For the next 45 years. From this point on. Boom. Yeah. I like the show Love Support and Torn Fer Corn Fairy, guys. Last year was Bill Zalatoris. Oh, yeah. We fucking love Zalatoris. Love yeah. Bill. But love he, ain't, he ain't Akshay. No, no. <laughs> Sorry, Bill. See you, Will. Similar Bill. Sorry, yeah. Bill. See ya.